Welcome to Conscious Clips and our time together. Conscious Clips is a series of videos to introduce to you the skills and powers of conscious discipline. So, what is conscious discipline? Conscious discipline is an emotional intelligence program to help adults and children respond from the higher centers of their brain instead of react from the lower centers of their brain to conflict in life situations. So basically what it is, it's a shift from a very traditional, compliant, obedient model of discipline to one that's a relationship-based model of discipline. And each of these have different core beliefs. In the traditional model, the goal is to make children behave. It's based on the notion we can make children mind. We can make our spouse change. We can make coworkers work, be more productive. Now, I don't know about you, but I've lived long enough to know that you can't make anybody else change. You can't, and maybe you've tried, maybe you've tried. Maybe you've tried to have a smoker quit smoking, a drinker quit drinking, or an eight month old eat those peas. It's impossible to make others change. Now, the conscious discipline says, since that is impossible, what is possible? It's possible to change ourselves. And because we're in dynamic relationships with each other, if I change myself, and the dance we do with each other, then you, in turn, will change how you respond to me. The second difference between traditional discipline and conscious discipline is traditional discipline relies on rules and consequences as its foundation. And it says if I could just find the right rule or the right consequence, this behavior would go away. Now, if you go from jail cell to jail cell in America, you could ask almost everyone in jail, say, do you know the rule about killing? And they all could say yes. So obviously, rules and consequences aren't going to get perfect behavior because we're not short on rules. We'd all have a wonderful society. So conscious discipline says what governs behavior, what's the foundation, is a relationship with one another. And our relationship with each other gives us the willingness to want to solve our conflicts. And everybody knows this, everyone's experienced this. When you feel close to someone, when your relationship is going well, and you say, well, could you get me something out of the fridge? They'll go, okay. But when your relationship is severed, when you're mad at them, when you haven't been talking for years, and you say, could you get me something out of the fridge? They'll go, get it yourself. So that relationship gives us the willingness to solve our conflicts. So the third difference between traditional discipline and conscious discipline is in traditional discipline, we're trying to get rid of conflict. We don't like conflict. We grew up and conflict was a painful thing. It hurt. All we knew that conflict represented hurtful things, screaming, yelling, days of intense silence. So when we grew up, we want to do anything to avoid conflict. And so what we've done to try to avoid conflict is usually rewards and punishment. If you have no conflict this morning, I give you a little gummy bear, or we'll take you to McDonald's if you just straighten up and act right. Or if you do these things wrong, we're going to take away things. We're going to take away recess if you're a teacher. We're going to take away TV privileges if you're a child. So it's based on these external models, external reinforcers, external punishes, punishers governing your behavior. A stimulus response. Here's the stimulus, you respond differently. Conscious discipline views conflict very, very differently. And what it does is help you. It helps you perceive conflict differently. It helps you see conflict as missing social and emotional skills. And then it teaches you the skills of how to replace those skills in yourself and in your children so that you can build healthy relationships. And in those healthy relationships, you can have connection coexisting with conflict in a very healthy growth oriented way. So conscious discipline asked us to rely on internal resources. It teaches us to think through things. It teaches us to reflect on what's the best decision for us. It's not based on what stimulus is going to trigger a certain reaction from me. It says, let's think it through. Let's think what might be my best choice in this situation. So if you found these ideas I shared with you intriguing and you're ready to move further in shifting from a traditional discipline model to a more conscious discipline model, Conscious Clips will be a tool that will be helpful to you. Until next time, I wish you well.